I'm Dan Hirschberger with Winding Holter here in Mooresville, North Carolina, and I'm back again with Gary Jones, Diagnostic Tech here at Holter. All right, Gary uh, is here to help us with our demonstration today, and we want to show you another unique feature on the Holter horizontal beam saw. Again, we're in front of our Zentrex 6215 beam saw, and this is a common feature that a lot of people find very useful on the panel saw, and that is the grooving. All of our panel saws, from our lowest model up to the highest, our smallest to our largest, all offer grooving as standard. Some of our models, particularly the one that we're working with today, have bi-directional grooving. So a lot, every saw grooves in one direction, stops, drops back down, comes up, grooves. Some models of our saw, the Zentrex being one of them, grooves in both directions, back and forth, which uh, makes it much quicker, much faster, and much easier. So. Grooving is a really unique feature. It's kind of neat the way the panel saw does that. And Gary's here going to explain to us how we do because we have to control the depth of the groove, the width of the groove. So maybe you can explain how that's done. Does it require any tools? No tools. Okay. Uh, it's just in the program. Today we're going to do it in the direct cut. Um, we put a board in. This one's 97 inches. We're going to trim cut two inches. And then we're going to tell it we want a groove that's three quarters of an inch back from the edge quarter inch wide and five eighths inch deep. And then we're going to tell it we want series cuts of eight inches. So that way it's going to cut the board to eight inches. Now for every board that we're cutting to eight inches, there's going to be that groove. So you don't have to program the groove every time you want to cut. So you just tell it one time the size groove you want, where you want it, and then you tell it how big the boards or how big the panel, say for a drawer front or a right. uh, drawer sides, and how big the part backs. is, yep. and then it's going to put the okay. grooves in, and it's going to cut the part right. And we're going to be grooving in both directions. Now, the way the grooving works on the panel saw, you can't see it, it's on the bottom, it's underneath the board. We can only see the finished product when it's done, but we'll see, we've got a series of grooves and cuts uh, programmed on this piece right here. So I'm going to let Gary jump in there and run the program, and you can see what the finished part looks and kind of how the saw processes the panel as it's doing the grooving. We already have a program set up in the uh, in the controller here, just for this application. And you can see, also, kind of a review. We had the laser before on one of our previous videos, and you can see here again. There's a laser right there showing us that uh, the part is in there correctly. So go ahead when you're ready, Gary. Pulls the part back. Side alignment comes down. Holds the part tight to the fence. Forward. We're going to make that trim cut that Gary talked about. We want to get rid of that factory edge on the front. We'll get rid of that, take that out, throw it away. And then, while well, again, you can't see it, you can hear the saw. Hopefully, you can hear the saw blade underneath going back and forth. We made it a quarter inch wide uh, groove so that the saw blade will make two passes. What it does is you tell it the kerf of the blade. It knows, the controller knows the kerf of the blade and then we tell it how wide of a groove we want and then the, the software automatically calculates how many passes the saw blade needs to make in order to get the width of groove that we want. So here it comes now, you can see the part coming out, there's our strap right there at the front. And, uh, that moves it forward you can see we we'll get our finished part out we're going to get several pieces out of this one strip because it is so long so here we go there you go nice so you can see here's our first part you can very easily see the groove there's the next one so all of this information about how far from the edge how deep is the groove how wide it is is all controllable all programmable from the front here. We don't have to use any tools, no manual adjustments. It's all done. So pretty simple, very easy. But if you need any type of grooving, it's really nice that we can groove, cut, groove, cut, and it makes it very quick and very efficient. While it's doing that, a couple other things that are really neat and unique about the panel saw. First of all, you notice on the front of our air tables here, all of our air tables have these rollers. So when you're loading a large sheets, it makes it easy for the operator to put it on here, roll it up onto the air table. 
really neat, very simple, but a very effective uh, tool to help load big sheets. Also, if you notice on our Zentrex series of panel saws, if you notice our air table, there's no support leg on the front, which really makes it nice. It's all tied into the main frame, which is very solid, very stable, very strong. And then we have adjustment of these variables back and forth. If you look, look up here, you can see right here we have linear guides. The little lock handle here, we can just loosen this and then slide the whole air table back and forth. You see the linear guides here. So it makes it very easy, very precise to move the air tables back and forth. And then with no leg here on the front, it's really nice for working around the saw. We don't have any obstructions or anything in the way. And then also here's a really nice, unique feature. We have the remote control here for starting and stopping the saw cycle because many times if you have a large sheet, it's hard to get over there and push that button because the panel's in the way. So we have the remote start and stop here, which makes it really easy. So these are just a few things, very very unique, really nice, that makes it easy to use the operate the saw. And you can see Gary's got a nice stack of parts here with the grooving. It'd be nice if we could get up under there and you can see how it works from the bottom, but that's not possible. But you can see the finished result and how quick and easy that is. So again, just a few things about the Holzer horizontal beam saws. This one in particular, the Zentrix 6215. There's some really neat features that makes them very versatile and easy to operate. Thank you for watching.